Alright guys, in today's video I'm continuing to test out different versions of Control. I just added a 1 of somewhere. There's your file. I'm continuing to test out Control. Um, I wanted to try Popsicle Control at my local tomorrow, but for some reason Fishbone Quill is the only card from set 1 I did not order. I just skipped over it somehow. And so I, I sleeved it up and everything, and I was like, oh, where's the Fishbone Quills? Couldn't find them. So I've just decided to um, play Ruby Amethyst because that's what I played all last format. I went 25-2-2 two two across all tournaments, so I'm very familiar with uh, how it plays, even though there's a lot of new cards, there's a lot of old cards still. And um, I took out the Aladdins and the A-Drop Elses, and I am running um, more of the bounce, like tempo mid-range type cards. Because Aladdin and Elsa, I think, are just too slow now, which is kind of sad to say because I loved Elsa so much uh, set one. But um, yeah, I, I just don't think they quite get there when people can uh, burst you down with goats and books and Eye of the Fates and, you know, just all the all these new things that are commonplace in the meta. So um, they're out and more of the mid-range bouncy stuff is in. So I'm running uh, four Felicia, four Gaston, four Maui. Three Lady Tremaine. I know I'm going to hate it whenever there's a Rockstar Stitch or a five cost Steel Beast I need to get rid of. Um, you know, those particular targets that are obnoxious, but, you know, it is a body. So I'm testing it out currently, and, um, you know, I might end up switching back to Dragonfire. Be prepared. It's got to be a four of, of course. Maleficent's a four of if you're playing, you know, um, control, control, you know. And then we've got uh, one Archimedes, and then I have two Madam Mim two drop. I'm not trying to go all in on the two drop Madam Mim, and that's why I included another one cost in the form of Archimedes. So that way Madam, the Madam Mim two and three cost both have an additional easy target to bounce. <coughs> and then of course against Agro, we have another one drop. Then we have Arthur as a means of another engine. Then we have uh, friends on the other side. We have the three drop Madam Mim. We have three drop Maleficent. We've got uh, three Sorcerer Spellbook now instead of four. I'm trying to see if I can get away with three. Um, three, three drop Yzma. I think three fours are really good right now. And I'm hoping I can uh, surprise people with the Yzma. Also, if I bounce uh, a one or two drop back to my deck, then uh, return back to my deck, then I can get some draw power, maybe keep my deck rolling if I'm in a slump. Then we have uh, both four cost Merlins. They're, you know, the reason we're you know, playing the entire deck, right? And then we have two queen because when I played it the last time on my local, it performed extremely well still. And even though there's a lot of draw power, sometimes you still just need a little more. So this is definitely the flexiest spot in the deck, but it's still uh, really good. And then we have the Yzma not only to draw, but whenever we're racing on board and I know that um, they can't do anything about it, or when I know I'm only a turn or two away from booking them out, then I can just Yzma, and it doesn't matter how many cards they draw, especially if they're in a matchup where they don't have access to item removal. So, uh, yeah, that's the deck, and we'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. I mean, everything's inkable. It's a lot of draws. I'm just going to keep it. <coughs> I regret nothing. Alright, let's play out the Felicia. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's another steel deck, man. Alright, so Felicia's free meat. Which is not good for me. <sighs> Might not be worried about the thing though. All right. I'm going to draw a three drop Madam Mim and I can just get some value out of the Felicia by returning to my hand and inking it, but you never know. This might be an aggressive lore strategy. Hopefully it's not a wheel deck. If they play a fishbone and play it, then I'm just going to start emptying my hand completely. It is just a lore deck. And I have yet to see. Three drop Madam Mim. Whoa, wait. This is actually better. Um, I'll draw one less card. 
but I also get rid of them getting two more lore next turn. So, I think that's worth it. Try and keep them at a striking distance of silly things. Alright. I don't think we need all this. I really need to be drawing before I ink. This is a bad habit. Let's just continue to get cards. I think I can squeeze in a quest here. Not too worried about like a Maui, for example. And if they get a favorable, obviously I would just attack back, right? Please quest with this. Okay, I was going to say, they can't be that silly, right? Um, so obviously, um, we do this, and then we do this, and then we quest, and then we put an Yzma back, or into the ink, excuse me. And then I'm going to Yzma the beast because they're going to draw one anyway. So this is basically the same thing. And I get to add pressure to the board, so, you know, what's worse? Okay, that's going to take up most of their turn. That's not a super big deal. They have no be prepared, so I think adding to the board is just pretty good. I do want to keep... this on the board, huh? I don't know, I don't think it super matters. I was thinking about just bouncing the goat, but this is better. Yeah, this is way better. Okay, so... Good luck racing me, I guess. I'm probably just going to drop the double bunny, so that way when I do be prepared, at least I'll get a new hand. That's interesting. Okay. Not what? Okay. Yeah, and this Maui is just going to be really good. Um, they're probably not going to leave the hero susceptible. Unless they're, unless they get greedy. They are. Okay. Well, dude, that works for me. Um... So, uh, very dead, and then we'll sprinkle that with, um, you know, more dead. I do want to continue to ink. Alright, they're going to have to give up something they want, unless they play a little cheap thing. I didn't think they would. Risk of be prepared. So let's just keep thinning the herd. They're probably going to get rid of the Aurora, which is fine. Yeah, they want the card selection, obviously. But when they quest, they leave it vulnerable to the Maui. So maybe they're going to search for a Hades. Ah, Beast, okay. Okay, well, they're obviously going to sack the tiny Aurora. Here we go. Let's do. Let's do this. I don't think it's worth it. I think I want to. I think I want to do this. Just keep picking away at the board. Five drop beast is incredibly strong. They just keep like it's like I'm looking at the same cards the whole game. Like it's pretty, it's pretty wild. Yeah, literally the same cards all game. All right, that's cool. I would like them to give up one of those cards. 
It's probably going to be Hiram. It's the only one that's conditional. The other two are guaranteed to do something. Yeah, exactly. All right. Now, hopefully, I can kind of burn them out at this point. Um, I should draw, what, three cards next turn at least? Plus the one for turn, so four cards with a rabbit and Arthur. As long as they don't get rid of everything. This is where they might Hades the Arthur, though. Okay, there's a smash. I was hoping they wouldn't have it. But they're also leaving themselves vulnerable with the Maui again. Okay. Real cute. So how many beasts have they seen? This is... Did they balance some? Like, what happened to them? Oh, I put one in deck. That's what it was. Um, well, that's easy, right? Let's do this. Oh, I'm stupid. I was supposed to hold it all. Um, but it might not matter. Yeah, it might not matter. I was supposed to just tap it, play it, bounce it, and get rid of one of the beasts, but them going to five cards I don't see making a tremendous difference unless they get like two grab your swords or something. <laughs> I need to shut up. At least there's that. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I just made that flub. Because I don't know where those came from, but I'm hoping they didn't have both already, but... You know, who knows, really. Okay, there's a goat. So we can do this. Yeah, I was just going to play the goat, and then if anything happens to the goat, I win, and I can bounce it myself. So, um, <laughs> a little misplay there at the end, but it worked out. All right, we had a good first game. Let's see if we can get it to continue. Um, I mean, I'm just putting back the non-inkables and I'm playing it safe. Yeah, this is okay. I don't really have any draw cards, unfortunately, but I am going second, so I'll get an extra draw. Okay, right now I feel very, um, validated. If he just taps it, then he probably doesn't have a rock star. Oh my. Okay, I can at least answer the Simba now and not be weak to fire the cannons or grab your swords or anything like that. I'm trying. I'm gonna try and attack, kill it, and then bounce it with Madame Mim, and then take out the Stitch. Okay. Naturally. Yeah, I think I will do this. I think I just play that. That's very unfortunate. I run four Felicia just to make Simba even easier to answer. But he probably just would have been patient anyway. That's obnoxious. He can't quest. Oh, he can quest with just the stitch. He just can't quest with anything else, which might be good enough, you know. Who knows? Oh my. And he's just gonna refuel. Oh, I should have quested first. I'm just tilted. So I missed out on a lore, but I don't think that's at all going to decide who wins this game. At least I hope not. That might be my famous last words. I really hope they get greedy and they let me Maui. That would be tremendous. 
Um, yeah, who knows, man. They could just ink go for a whole new world. Oh, they don't even have to ink. They can just go for a whole new world if they want. Oh, it's this deck. Oh, please, please, quest. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're my new favorite person of all time. Why would you ever quest there? That's so, so greedy. It was just a pipe dream, you know? I'll never not run for Maui if I'm playing red. That's just never gonna happen. Yeah, you can grab it if you want. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um. Don't need that. Let's just keep answering the board. I mean, they grabbed an aerial instead of the Rockstar Stitch. Oh, they grabbed the aerial because they're looking for a whole new world, obviously. So I'm really going to hope they miss it right here. But yeah, I'm just going to keep adding to the board so that way when they whole new world, I have a board presence. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that started out really badly. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I'm just going to call it short there, guys. Uh, two games, I got them. I'm happy with it. Um, I really want to play this... Anytime I try and play like a mini package with like... Um, Teeth and Ambition, I end up just getting hosed by everything that's not aggro anyway. Um, so I'm trying to find a really good, happy medium, and I think this deck might be it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.